and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Ebony. Go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below and join our amazing growing family. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, thank you so much for being here. Today we're getting into a Zara haul. I have a couple of pieces from their recent sale. I have some good summer pieces and I also have some jeans from the Good American collaboration. So let's go ahead and try these items on. So up first we have this dress from their summer collection. It's like a beige, like taupe color. I love it. it's like a nice linen material, so it's gonna be really breezy. I love the beaded accents here on the straps. Then of course we have the cute little cutouts on the sides. And then we have a nice little split on each side. Um, for reference, this dress is a small and it was 59. 59.90 and I'll go ahead and make sure I have like the code or the links down below for everything that I'm trying on but yeah so far I think I like this dress I don't know if I should go up a size or not because I have this fear that when I wash my clothes that they're all just going to shrink so but yeah the length is really good I think it'll look really cute with some sandals or some strappy heels so I'm definitely thinking about keeping this piece for sure so up next i have on this ribbed crop tank top um i have this already in like a taupe color i buy a lot of taupes and nudes um i think it's like seven bucks so i just went ahead and repurchased it it's just a zara basic so i just went ahead and got another color i have on my first pair of the zara good american jeans these are the high rise skinny jeans and i can go ahead and tell you right now I don't like these. Um, I can say that, so for reference, I am 5'7", I weigh about 150, and usually I am a size four in jeans or a 27 in jeans, and so I got these in a four. And something told me I should have sized up with these and gotten a six, but I didn't want the waist area to be too big. And I can tell you right now, I don't like these there's like no stretch in them like I feel like I have no room to grow in these like I can't grow into them I feel like they're already too small um they're supposed to have like a waist tummy um flat tummy technology effect to them don't like it um I don't like the back either because I kind of feel like I'm kind of just bursting out of these like I feel like I had to squeeze in them to get into them so, so far, um, these were $69.90, uh, going back. They're going back. All right, so next we have on our second pair of Good American Jeans, and these are the 90s relaxed I had to look at the tag here. <laughs> the 90s relaxed jeans. I love they're kind of like a light wash. They're flared at the bottom and they're really long. I love that they're not super tight, but they're fitting. Um, in the back, there is like a tiny bit, like a, like, not a gap per se, because it's not, but it's like a lot more space right here. So I feel like I could probably keep these for a little while. So if I gain weight, I'll be able to wear them. Um, again, I got these in a size four and these were $69.90. I think I like these. I think I'm going to keep them. I don't know. What do you guys think? I just want to know if you my friend. I just want to know if you did it. I know I'm in a way. So for our last pair of Good American Jeans, these are the Classic Slim. Um, these are also $69.90, size four. They have the um, flat tummy technology in them. They also are made so they can make your legs look longer, which I feel like I don't need any help with. Um, for these, I think they're a no for me. Um, I don't like feeling like I'm so compressed in my jeans. I'm gonna be honest with you, I like to eat. And so because I like to eat, my stomach gets a little, you know, full and so without when i wear jeans that are just super tight that i can't breathe in um on a normal i just i don't i'm not a fan of them so these are just not for me but if you're a person that requires that 
um, or is a fan of like compression and like um, that flat tummy technology and like no stretch in your jeans and these make it a good fit for you. But um, I love the color. I love that they're distressed on the bottom. Um, the back doesn't feel as tight as the front does. I don't know if this makes sense, but I feel like I have less material to close the jeans than I do in the back to kind of like stretch in them. If that makes sense at all, but yeah. These are not a fan favorite. Right now we are not doing too well. <laughs> For the Good American collab, they also have, I think it's five pair of jeans. I'm not a huge, huge skinny jean fan, so I only bought um, two pairs of those. Um, they also have like um, a ribbed crop that looks like this in black, I believe. And then they have like a basic white t-shirt as well. I think that was, um, I think they're each $35. I didn't think they were worth getting, so I just skipped them. Um, but for the jeans, I would have to say like I've always wanted to try good American jeans just to see like what the hype is about and like I like to just see like how well the product that the Kardashians can produce given like everyone has like different opinions on them or whatever so I thought that this was a perfect opportunity for me to try them out so from the three that I have I'm only planning to keep the 90s relaxed fit jean which is this one because I love that it was loose um, it wasn't like super tight or uncomfortable. It was like loose fitting, but super cute and flattering still. So um, I'm thinking about keeping these, but these are all at the same price point. They're all $69.90 for the jeans. Um, they do feel like they're good quality. Like they don't feel like they're poorly made or anything. I do believe that Zara has really great jeans at a great price. So I think this was a great collaboration for them to put out. But for me and my body type and when I look for my jeans, um, not impressed with what I picked up at least. Um, except for that one pair so let me know down in the comments if you pick up anything from the good american zara collection or if you have good american jeans um in general let me know and let me know how you feel about them but moving on <laughs> um i picked up two pairs of faux leather pants i like the look of faux leather pants but obviously i wouldn't be wearing them in the summer most likely but i picked them up for the fall because they were on sale so the first color i got was this again <laughs> a nude taupey earth tone color um i don't know how i feel about them just yet they feel like they might be a good fit for me i love that that they're um not super tight and uncomfortable i feel like i can move in these like i think they'll look really good in the winter with some nice boots so that's why i picked these up let me know. What do you All right. So our last pieces for the clothing that I picked up with Zara is this navy blue or cobalt blue um, bodysuit. And it has like the one strap going across with this like peekaboo area. Usually I'm not one that goes for like strapless things, but I thought this was a really pretty color, so I just went ahead and picked it up. I also love a bodysuit that has like the snap closures at the bottom. That way you don't have any issues when you're trying to use the restroom. And then I also picked up another pair of the faux leather pants um, in this camel color. These are definitely um, a lot tighter than the other ones, so they may be like a different style. But they were both originally I think they were like 45 50 but they were on sale for like 20 and then this bodysuit i think was 20 as well i have the tag tucked in somewhere around here but i think it was like 24 for this bodysuit so i think i might keep the bodysuit the pants i don't know quite yet just because they're so tight already i don't know what do you guys think I know so last but not least, I got a pair of sandals from Zara and they came in this really cute like little shoe bag. I don't think I've ever actually no, I have one pair of shoes from Zara that I haven't worn yet, but I thought these were really cute. Um these are them. 
I just got some like plain black sandals. They're kind of like a rubbery material, so I feel like they'll be pretty durable and like good. Like if you're going to the beach, it'll be easy to get the sand out of your shoes. Um, I just went ahead and we got black because I don't have any black sandals. They come in a variety of colors. And these were $35.90. I went ahead and got them a half size larger. I am an eight and a half, but they don't have half sizes after I believe a size six and a half or a seven and a half. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, so just to play it safe, I just went ahead and got a size bigger because I know I cannot fit an eight. All right, we have reached the end of this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you picked up from the Good American Collection for any summer pieces that you may have picked up or even fall pieces and you took advantage of those sales. Let me know down in the comments what you have been picking up. Um, what I can say, we got some really good pieces here, but some things are definitely gonna go back. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I ain't got no words at all. This kid's house is